On Remembrance Day, Canadians stand united in a moment of silence. We remember generations of brave Canadians who put themselves in harm's way for peace and freedom. Today, we mark Remembrance Day and the 100th anniversary of the First World War Armistice. In the three months leading up to the end of the war, known as Canada's 100 Days, our soldiers won a series of victories that solidified their reputation as elite shock troops. And 30 Canadians and Newfoundlanders earned the Victoria Cross for their heroic effort in the defense of peace and freedom. At sundown today, the bells of the Peace Tower in Ottawa and in communities across Canada will ring out. Bells will ring in Mons, Belgium too. It was the last town the Canadian Corps liberated during the First World War. It marks the 10th anniversary of National Peacekeepers Day, the 65th anniversary of the Korean War Armistice, and the 75th anniversary of the Allied invasion of Sicily, which launched the Italian campaign in the Second World War. Across this great country, from coast to coast to coast, Canadians enjoy more freedoms than many citizens anywhere on earth. And we owe it to veterans to never forget their sacrifices that made this possible. We also owe it to our veterans to learn about the enormous challenges they faced and the sacrifice that they have made. This Remembrance Day, I speak for all Canadians in expressing our sincere support, gratitude and admiration for Canada Service members and their families lest we forget.